uh, we are delighted and honored to receive this award again. I think uh, it's a great recognition from the market that we are in the right track. We not only could grow from 120,000 ounces to 269 last year, but we also have projects that will put us above 400,000 ounces, not including the one that we acquired during this week. Number two, it's very important to highlight that uh, this award also recognizes that, that we can not only run the mines efficiently, but also navigate through a very difficult time such as the pandemic and the high inflation that we have seen today. Since uh, we started to turn around the company back in 17, we founded our pillars, our growth, and uh, the value that we would add to the company based in three very simple strategy. Have a straightforward and simple assets and good projects to develop have a very healthy balance sheet that should be able to afford for the, the growth. And number three, have a, the right team and the right culture under which they will work and make the decisions. Since then, we've made significant changes in the company. We not only rebuilt the old portfolio with the new assets, merging and acquiring and selling assets, we also rebuilt the balance sheet. We developed very strong relationships with uh, banks in the country that we operate, besides uh, North America. And uh, we rebuilt the team and the culture. And the results of this are very important. Not only we could appreciate our shares and the cash flows from last year, but we also are paying dividend. We are growing, paying dividend while maintaining low leverage. Uh, dividend last year was 13.5%, while we grew more than 30%. Last year, we had a production of 269,000 ounces coming from three operations, gold and copper. And we have projects, Matupa and Almas, that will put us at 400,000 ounces by 24. But we just acquired also Borborema that we will include. It's a new greenfield project that uh, we will develop in Brazil, and we should put, be more than 400,000 ounces producer by 24, 25th.